Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed how I do my wash and goes pretty much. I didn't show how I wash my hair. I didn't show my wash routine. I just showed my styling routine. So I guess I should call this my curly hair routine. If you want to see how I like wash and deep condition and condition my hair on a weekly basis, I can try and I can do that for you guys. Um, but in today's video, you're just going to see how I style it. I'm touching it, but it's still really wet. My hair takes like 12 hours to dry. So yeah, I didn't want to wait for 12 hours to film this intro, but this is how my hair looks pretty much every time I do it. Um, it starts pretty flat and then it'll get bigger and bigger as the days go on as typical curly hair does. So if you'd like to see how I style my hair on my wash days, please keep watching. Okay, so let's get right into it. I have a tapered cut that's growing out currently, which means I have shorter hair in this, on the sides and the back versus the top and the front, as you can see right here. So I'm just separating the two lengths of hair so that it's easier for me to moisturize every strand. Now that I have the short hair separated from the long hair, I'm sectioning off the longer part of my hair into four subsections so that I can easily moisturize every strand on the top. My hair is really thick so if I didn't do this, I definitely would miss like half of that huge section. Alright, so now that everything is sectioned off, I'm going in with my leave-in conditioner. I'm going to apply a generous amount to my fingertips, rub them together, and work that into my hair. When working on the shorter part of my hair, I don't use clips to section it off. I find that it's easiest for me to get through this section without doing so. If you feel that you need to section your hair off into small sections, then by all means, please do so. But for me, this hair is short, so I just kind of rake it through and it works for me. But again, do what works for you. To lock in that moisture, I'm going to follow the leave-in with an oil. Today, I'm using olive oil, but you can use coconut, jojoba, really whatever oil you want. I'm taking about a dime-sized amount and applying that to the entire section. Now that the lower half is fully moisturized and sealed, I'm going to repeat the process on each of these sections. You just saw me spritz that section with water because my hair dries quickly when there's no product in it. And I do like to apply my leave-in and oil on wet, not wet hair, but damp hair. So I just spritz it because it dried up and then I apply my product. As you can see, I split each section into two subsections so that the inside of that section can be fully moisturized just like the outside of the section. You don't want to just moisturize the outside or the back or the front of the section. You want every strand to be moisturized. So I just split it in half. Now I'm applying the oil. Now with the oil, sometimes I'll split it in half. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I feel like I don't need to. Twist it up and clip it away. And I'm just going to repeat the process on the rest of the three sections. Spritz with water, work that water into the section, apply leave-in conditioner to the section, split the section in half, clip one half away, work the product into one half, work it into the second half, Apply your oil of choice to the section. You can split this section into two subsets. To, pardon me, into two subsections, or just apply it to the entire section. 
twist it, clip it up, and work on the last two. I think I skipped the last two though. Yep, now we're into styling. So as you just saw, I'm using Eco Styler Gel to uh, define my curls. And in the pink bottle again is water. So when I when it comes to styling the bottom half of my head, I do tend to clip it away 90% of the time. But sometimes I don't, it really depends on how I'm feeling. So today I did, so I split the section, split my hair into a smaller section and spritz it with a generous amount of water. Then I apply gel to that smaller section. I can't really tell you how much gel I use per section because I look for a feel. I apply enough product to where it feels like there's enough product on my hair. I've been doing this route, I've been doing the same routine for a while now, so I know what that feel is. You're just going to have to be able to determine that for yourself. Um, but I do apply little by little, and I'll just keep going. I try not to just apply a glop on a small section because it does weigh my hair down. So I just kind of rake that into each subsection and until I feel like there's enough and it's as defined as I want it to be. And then I move on to the next section. So I'm just applying that gel. I rake it through. I will split the smaller section into even smaller sections to make sure that the root, that every strand is coated from the root to the tip. Today I was going for really defined curls, so that's why I'm clipping it away um, and working on really small sections. If I want more of a fluffy look, I won't clip it away like you see me doing here. I don't think the hair is clipped away. And I just kind of apply it to a larger section of hair. So just work it in, work it in, work it in until you get the definition that you desire. So now I'm going to start on the top of my head. I'm spraying the entire section with a generous amount of water and working that water into my hair. So typically I spray it until it's like dripping wet. I'm going to section off a small section and clip the rest away. And this is the section that I'll start applying the gel to. So I apply the gel starting at the roots and working it to the tips. I make sure that every strand is saturated. Every strand. I find that with my hair, with as, as thick as it is, I need to work in sections that are this tiny to get a very defined look. Like I said before, if I want a more fluffy look, I may just put the section like in half, maybe, if that. But today I was going for very defined curls, so I split the section into about three subsections. All right, I'm showing you again. Spritz the entire section with water. Work that water into the section, making sure that it's really wet. Section off a small section and clip the rest away. I'm applying my gel. Now the hair in the front of my head is a lot looser than the hair everywhere else. So it looks a little stringy. Um, that's just how my hair is. So I just make sure that when root to tip, my hair has a lot of gel on it. Cause I need my hair to last a week. I only wash my hair once a week, so I like the definition to last pretty much the entire week. I mean, day five starts getting a little fluffy, but when I do it this way, my hair does last and it still looks good day six, day seven.
defined wet but very defined curls which is what i was going for all right guys that's it for my curly hair routine if you try any of these products or this technique please let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to subscribe and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next one peace